Where should we start? Does it matter? It does, yes. We need to start with the emulsion work first. So, ceilings and then onto your walls. After all the emulsion work's been done, you need to do your door frames, your doors, your window ledges, your radiators and then your skirts. You do it in that order because then you, you don't drop any fresh paint on your already freshly painted surfaces. For the walls, would you use a roller or a brush? To be honest, you're going to use both. You use a two inch brush like this one for the cutting in, doing a section at a time while the edges are still wet. Then it's best to fill in with the roller, working one metre drops on the wall, that way you're going to get a really good finish. To make painting the walls easier, switch off the power at the mains and loosen the screws on the light switches and sockets so you can move them away from the wall. Then apply masking tape to the edges. With no power, you'll need to paint in daylight, but this is better for seeing how well you're covering the walls. A paint kettle is useful to avoid having to carry heavy paint tins. Use small amounts of paint at a time, up to half the kettle. This will also help to keep the paint fresh and easy to apply. When you're painting around the edges, or cutting in as it's called, don't overload the brush with paint, up to about a third will do. Make sure you're balanced and not overreaching, then line the brush up with the edge and move the brush with a firm and steady action. Now you're ready to roller the walls. Fill the tray to about a third full, then apply the paint to your roller, but don't overload it. Then put your roller to the surface, the roller should rotate freely, but don't let it skid. You should start with a diagonal stroke, like this. Followed by horizontal strokes. And then finishing with a vertical stroke. And that should eliminate any marks and give you a nice, smooth surface. But don't spread that paint too thinly.